Welcome to this PSHGFM hands-on. First, I would like to remind you the L5 GFM structure. We've got three main blocks, the GFM SBSFU boot, the GFM appli secure, and the GFM appli non-secure. When your platform is booted, we started on the GFM SBSFU boot. This block of software checks the security of your platform, then it will check the signatures of the GFM appli secure, then the signature of the GFM appli non-secure. If the both are properly authenticated, then it will load the appli non-secure. Then this one will initialize, then we will load the appli non-secure. During the lifetime of this GFM appli non-secure, it can call some security services thanks PSA API. We can update the secure the application secure and the application non-secure. But for this, we need to download a new binary. This will be done by a loader, which is embedded inside the appli non-secure. This one will communicate through the UART on the Ymodem protocol. The purpose of this hands-on, to try to understand or to clearly understand the L5 GFM structure, you will test all those functionality and experiment some L5 security features. The scenario, First, I deliver you a pre-compiled version of all this stuff. So we just play to and update the application secure, the application unsecure, and we will see also how we can call some GFM secure services. Then we will compile and debug three binaries, and then we will play with the HDP features, it's the high memory protect, and the HDP 0.5, which allow to debug only the non-secure application. The material provided, in fact, it's a portage of the full TFM from the development kit to the Nucleo. The difference between the two boards, you can see it's difference reference of the SGM32, the L562 and the L552. The main difference on the L552, you don't have the hardware acceleration of the cryptography. So what I did, I just migrate a RART to an LP RART. I removed the crypto hardware acceleration which is not available on this device. And I also deactivated some features, external memory support, because we don't have external memory on the Nucleo. And the TFM local loader, because we will use the loader that is inside the non-secure application. Regarding the security flag, I removed the write protection, the HDP and the RGP. RDP, HDP because we will use it during this hands-on and the right protection is just to uh, in is our way to reflash new binary when we will recompile. I also deliver you mini script which the purpose is to set the option byte and to flash binaries. It's not to hide the complexity but ensure there is no error during those operation. You can find in the appendix of this presentation the description of each of those scripts. So I propose now we start.